Hey y'all, uh, one more video uh, about my experience with a four corner fusion due to a uh, non-union scaphoid fracture. You're probably watching this, but probably because the doctor gave you the diagnosis of what I had and gave you two options, four corner fusion or a proximal roll carpectomy because the scaphoid is now dead and they will not do a pin and grafting of that scaphoid because it's dead at this point. So for those that are two, three, four years um, post injury and the scaphoid is dead, you can live with it for a while. It'll be fine. But like my doctor told me, my surgeon, um, about the 13 to 16 year range is about when arthritis will start setting in. And now it just bothers you all the time. You don't even have to do anything. It just hurts you. That's where I hit. I was at a 14 year window uh, post injury. I had no idea that it was broken until I went to the doctor because it hurt all the time. And he said, hey, man, your scaphoid is broken, and we can tell it's been broken for years. And I was like, holy crap, I remember when that happened back in high school. I thought it was like a sprained wrist. I just thought it was kind of stiff for all those years. Uh, but finally, when like pain was all the time, I went and got it checked out. They took the x-ray, and that's when I got the news of... The only way to fix this is the proximal row carpectomy or a four corner fusion. Only two options. Um, there's been a couple experimental um, surgeries where they put in a basically a 3D printed scaphoid made out of titanium, but that did not have a good success rate. I looked at bone grafting and stem cell research into such a thing with not good outcomes, but the good outcomes were proximal roll carpectomy, four corner fusion. If your doctor has talked to you already, you'll probably know the proximal roll carpectomy is going to take out the scaphoid and then the two other bones that are sitting in this fossa, basically where your, your radius and your ulna are, they come together right here at the top. They have a little bowl and then you got three bones that sit right there they'll remove all of three of those and then these bones above it wrist bones above it will sit down in there you'll have greater range of motion but you'll only have about 60 percent of your grip strength me being military and hunt fish ride dirt bike ride mountain bike do carpentry, I opted for the four corner fusion, which is they completely removed the scaphoid and then they fused these four bones together because I was able to maintain a hundred percent of my grip strength, which I do have today. So for those of you who opt for the four corner fusion, this video is for you. I have zero problems doing everything that I ever did before. Actually, I'm doing better now because I have zero pain in my wrist. Literally zero pain. Um, I don't have great flexibility. This is all I got. And this is all you will have. That's it for the rest of your life. but you will adapt very, very well, just like I have. Um, I'm 33 years old at the moment. I'm still active and had zero problems adapting. You will have zero problems adapting. The only thing that may, may seem strange is the for the first month or two, you're going to think about it. You're like, ah, this is different. And especially if you're into working out, push-ups will be different. Yoga people 
It'll be a little bit different, but you'll adapt to it just like I have, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, your My fingers, just like your fingers, will become flexible, and you'll be able to do push-ups or, for example, downward dog, just like this. You'll notice my palm is on the ground, but I can do push-ups just like this with zero problems, zero pain. And that's how it'll be for you. Um, also, I remodeled my mother's bathroom three weeks, two weeks ago. Did everything. Used hand tools, drills. Didn't even think about the limitation on the wrist. I went dirt biking two, three weeks ago. Didn't even think about the rotation for anybody who, you know, rides, obviously. You know, you use your throttle like so. Had zero, zero problems with it whatsoever. Um, that was up in Montana, very hilly terrain. No problems whatsoever. Rode, a, rode my mountain bike a couple times here the last couple weeks. No problems whatsoever. Um, for anybody who likes to do bench press, little bit of little bit of limitation for the bar, because um, that bar is not going to set flat on your palm. When you put that bar in, it's going to kind of hang on your thumb just a little bit. So you're going to have to brace your thumb up with some wraps, like so. Me, I'm using free weights right now. I was able to use the bar. I just had to wrap it up. I was able to do it. It was fine. But I'm all free weights and cables now. And I still get a great chest workout. So ultimately, I hope if you're in the situation of trying to decide between proximal roll carpectomy or a four corner fusion, or you're looking for information about what it's like living after it, I'm basically just here to tell you, you will adapt just fine. I do everything now without even thinking about it. It just happens. Your, your body is amazing and you will adapt to everything just fine. So don't worry about surgery. If you're like four or five years after the injury, you'll have about another 10 years. Uh, for example, my surgeon told me People with a scaphoid non-union, um, they can tolerate it very well till about, a, I think he said a 13 to 16 year window, and then arthritis starts setting in. And then it will bother you at all times. Like for me, it got to the point where it would wake me up in my sleep. Um, so if you're like, for you, for y'all, if you're about four to five years after you know, the injury, and then you got the news like, hey, your, your scaphoid's broken. You, your only options are the two surgeries. You can hang out for a little while. You don't feel comfortable. You're able to do everything. You can hang out for a little bit. But if you're like me, and it was 14 years post-injury, and now it's bothering you at all times, like, hey, man, it's time to get that surgery. It really is. Because if you don't, going to happen is the arthritis that sets in that scaphoid starts spreading to the rest of the wrist so it's it's better to get ahead of that thing and get that surgery before that arthritis starts affecting all the other bones um, ultimately I just want everybody to not be afraid not be scared of the surgery or it affecting your activities after it because so i'm not gonna lie i'm happy i have it i do everything without pain everything just like you will be able to do everything i promise you it'll be weird for the first couple months but you're gonna be good i promise <laughs>